So today, we're talking about some of the craziest lures that I could find on Google. You know, Google, Google. Don't be talking about me. We're not talking about you, we're talking about lures that actually catch fish. Oh, well you ain't talking about me, I hate fishing. Exactly. Anyway, let's get started talking about these crazy lures. Crazy fishing lure, number one. There is a lure made by a Japanese company called a riser bait, 009P. 009P. And the best way I can explain this bait is, well, the way it was explained to me was, I'm serious. Every video I found was in Japanese. Riser 009P. See? You don't know what he said. No, but he knows what he said. You know, that almost makes sense. I know. But I'll tell you what, it's a pretty freaking cool looking lure. Liza, papa. That's all I'm saying. And it's really interesting because it kind of looks like a topwater popper, but instead of that little cup on the front, it actually has a hole in its mouth. And the hole leads down to its gills. So water goes into the mouth of this lure and comes out the gills and it makes it bubble. That's just crazy right there. On the front of the lure, it's got like this funny shaped spoon to eat and the water going through the mouth and out the gills and making bubbles. It makes a really cool action. Well, it ain't as cool as me. Well, it don't talk and all, but it actually catches fish. But it can't tell jokes like I can. That's true. Everywhere I looked for this lure online, it was sold out. So obviously, this thing works pretty good. I did, however, find it a couple of places and they were really, really proud of it. I'm just saying. And I ain't no fish, but I imagine that this lure is probably really realistic. It must work good because it's sold out everywhere. And don't take my word for it. Listen to the inventor himself. Liza, papa. But watching the videos of this lure in action, it really made me want one. It really did. And I might find out if it works, if I can ever find one in stock. I'm just saying. Crazy fishing lure number two. Did you know that they make a spider fishing lure? Can you say arachnophobia? Well, you can, but can you spell it? A R A C. A dang spider lure. up with these ideas. I think I'll buy one and let it hang out with Cranky. Oh no you ain't. You might be an arachnophobic but me I'm scared of spider. Anyway I'm sure it might catch fish and all but I ain't buying no spider oil. It's crazy so it fits on this list. <laughs> but it ain't for me. Crazy fishing lure number three. There is a lure called a Savage 3D Bat. You heard me right, it's a bat lure. <laughs> Who's coming up with this stuff? I mean seriously, baby, would you wanna fish with a bat? It sounds more like catfish bait than bass bait to me, I'm just saying, but look at that action. This thing goes through the water like nothing else. Looks like a dying duck. Yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Even though this lure meets every criteria of a crazy lure, it actually has some pretty good action if you watch it go through the water. And I've seen videos of fishermen catching bass with this lure, so... Still looks like a dying duck to me. If you ever wondered if you could catch a fish, with a bat and get you a 3D bat made by Savage and you could find out for yourself, I guess, cause it's a bat lure. <laughs> it is what it is. And since it has such good action, I guess I'm gonna have to give it a check. 
because people were catching fish with it and does have good action. But still kind of crazy is my crankbait, if you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. Crazy fishing lure number four. Okay, I'm gonna have to read this one. It's a manifold De Niro Yogo. Yogo, Yogo, Yogo. Glide bait. Now this lure has to be the craziest lure on our list. I mean, look at it. Look at it. That's freaking crazy. You know that's freaking crazy. And it's big. I'm talking big. It's 21.65 inches long. That's almost two foot. This lure weighs 43 ounces, which is basically 2.68 pounds. That's a two and a half pound lure. I'm not sure I want to be casting no two and a half pound lures all day, okay? Okay? Okay. That's one fat lure. Hey, don't be fat shaming. No, no, no. Fat. P-H-A-T. Fat. Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> Here's a video of casting the lure. Oh, that was a mega cast. Is it me or does that rod look a little bit too small? Four fish that can eat a two foot long, two and a half pound lure. You might want to sit down for this part because this is the best part. This lure cost over $1,100. You heard me right, $1,150. That's just freaking crazy. That can't nobody afford no $1,150. And there's great news because if you scroll down to the bottom of their website, you can upgrade your treble hooks. Now you got a $1,200 lure that weighs two and a half pounds and it's two foot long. Oh, I'm about to order my lure right now. Give me a break. But I did forget to mention this lure is probably so high because it's made from 100% horse leather. Horse leather. Now we're killing horses to make fishing lures. Just as bad as you are raising baby chicks to use for fishing bait. Dang. I forgot about that. Oh, and one more thing. According to the website, as you use your 100% horse leather lure, <laughs> and it begins to absorb water, it actually makes the action of this lure better. That's amazing. Now, you've taken your two and a half pound lure, and you've got a six pound lure. That is just genius. Yeah. I think I'm gonna have to pass on the $1,200 lure. But it is interesting. I'll give them that. Crazy fishing lure, number five. I don't know if y'all seen them, you may have. It's been out a little while. But in my opinion, it's one of the craziest lures that I've kind of been wanting to use. And that is a robotic fishing lure. You heard me robotic and really is something i've been wanting to try for a long time because this thing is freaking awesome now i use segmented lures all the time like these or like these actually one like this one right here me and my wife has used to catch a lot of striped bass so i know how good the segmented lures work but a robotic segmented lure that's just awesome. Now how this lure works, it has a propeller on the head of the lure. So the propeller gives the lure motion. The segmented body makes it swim like a fish. You know what I'm saying? And it has a built-in battery that you can't see, but you can recharge it over and over again. And this lure can swim without any help from you. You know that's cool. It's kind of mesmerizing to say the least. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. If you put a bobber on your line, you can just let this lure go and it'll swim all over the place. Hey, I done told you to stay out of my pool. Riley, kill. Get your tail back here. The only downside I've seen to these robotic lures, and the only reason I haven't bought five of them already, is because I've watched a lot of videos and they say that sometimes if a big fish slams it pretty hard, it'll break the propeller off the front of it and then it ain't no good no more. And they're not super expensive, but they kind of expensive to be losing them. And there's multiple companies selling these lures, so that helps keep the price down and that's a good thing. I may have to do another part of this video cause there's a lot of crazy lures on the market. I had one video where somebody made a kitchen sink lure do you suffer from fishing lure deficiency? Do you need to buy every single thing that everybody of yours tells you to? If I just had one more, if I just threw the kitchen sink at them, the kitchen sink, ladies and gentlemen. I'm just saying, you know what I'm saying. Anyway, if you enjoy videos like this and you like this video, then you're probably gonna like this video right here. So go over there right now 
and check it out because this video is over.